What's up, everybody? Hope you're doing well. It is absolutely gorgeous here in San Francisco right now. The sun's out. Um, hit the beach yesterday, went bike riding, and it's making it almost impossible for me to get to the office, but I'm still <laughs> determined to bury my head in the computer and get some awesome new codes out to you like Slender Skeletons. Um, I wanted to show you guys really quickly how great the ASO App Store optimization has been for this code. It's been out for over a year. I haven't updated it. The code is up to date, but the app I have not updated. And it's still getting great search results. I typed in skeletons here, just one word, and I'm hitting the top six on the results. That's right where you want to be with iPad. As you can see, there's six results there. In the iPhone, we have fewer. But um, look how narrow my competition is. There's basically a light and a pro version, and then three other apps I'm competing with. So this is great. Um, it just shows the power of ASO. And that's not the only great thing about this code. It's just something that's really simple that anybody can do that makes tons of difference in the world. So let's dive into this code and take a, take a deeper look. All right, we've got a sweet surfer track going on right now. <laughs> I'm gonna mute that. Um, this is the paid version. The light version, we're gonna see some ads automatically pop up as usual. We have our ad library integrated into this app, which gives you access to App Lovin', Playhaven, RevMob, Chartboost, and you can decide which uh, ad interstitials you wanna use, turn on, off. Um, it's a really a great tool. Also in the live version, you're going to see remove ads button in the bottom left here, which allows you to remove all those all of those ad interstitials. Uh, we also have the free games button, which will pop up an interstitial, and also the more games button, which allows you to cross remote to your other apps uh, via chart boost. So let's check out the high scores here, and this is just a uh, board of high scores you've scored. Obviously, I've only played once here. Level one shows my score. Um, we'll add to that, and we're going to click a level. Got over 20 levels in this game. They range from easy, normal, and hard. They're all hard to me. I have never gotten past level, I think, like eight. Um, so we'll start with number one because <laughs> we'll be here forever. So cool, we've got a really fun skeleton character. I love how he's animated. There's some animation in the back. It's really simple and fun. The goal is to get this skeleton figure all the way out of this disaster uh, and floating his way to the top of wherever the heck he's going. Uh, we're looking out for these spiked objects. We've got cactus and spiked boxes and a whole bunch of bad stuff that we want to get away from. Uh, let's see. I'm going to push here to get rid of things. I see a weight at the top right. I'm going to try to... There you go. Catapult that guy. And we're home free. Yahoo! There we go. Got an awesome congrats menu with our score to add to our, our high score menu. Go to the next level and a lot more obstacles. You can see balloons got popped right away. Um, you'll also notice the score goes down. The faster you are at beating these levels, the faster that, uh, or the higher the score you'll have. Um, yeah, so as you can see, I am not good at this game. I know for a fact they have to be really fast to beat this level and use both hands and I'm just not that coordinated. What's cool though about this is we also have a pause button. Super simple, we can go back to our menu. Uh, we can restart this level because it's extremely hard. Um, or we can go select a different level, like level three, where we have even more stuff going on. We've got a guy hanging out uh, upside down on a balloon with swords. That's You see that all the time. Uh, we got rocks, everything. So um, just a lot of fun stuff that just gets harder and more fun as you play this game. So that's pretty much it. I hope you really uh, check out this code, check out the blog. It's a lot of fun, it's easy for coders, it's great for new developers, um, and we've had a ton of success with it, so read the blog post and I'll talk to you later.